So I go to social media and I see all this outrage about Byron Donald saying that Jim Crow is great for black people. So of course, I'm not one of those easily misled people. I am not led by emotionalism. I am led by objectivity and crit critical thinking. So every time I see outrage like that, something always tells me to go back and research and see what he really said. And I'm gonna stand up for Byron Donalds. So I'm gonna stand 10 toes down for that man, what he said. I knew exactly what he was saying. Byron Donalds wasn't saying that Jim Crow was great for black America. He was not saying that at all, at all. What he was saying that in spite of Jim Crow, in spite of the unfairness and cruelty of Jim Crow, the black family at that time still held together, the black nuclear family, I'm talking about a father, a mother, and children, held together at a 70 to 75% click across the nation. That was a beautiful thing. We survived Jim Crow because we stayed bonded as a family, okay? And we got through it. Then something happened. Lyndon Baines Johnson comes through with the welfare checks. This was his strategy to get black votes. And he said this, you cannot deny that. He said, I'm going to, with these welfare programs, I'm going to have these N-words voting Democrat for the next 200 years. And unfortunately, so far, he's been right. Yeah, unfortunately, he's been right for quite a while, but I do think that is beginning to change and change in a major way. We got to talk about the Byron Donalds hoax that is going on now, and I've got to do a little debunking, I guess, again today. Goodness gracious, I'm, 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 like, I, I'm just like a debunker at this point, you know, like it's just oh, left wing conspiracy theory. All right, here's another one debunked. Another left-wing conspiracy thing. And, you know, it's not just me talking. Y'all know I always come with clips. I always come with the facts. Unlike what mainstream media does when they play just like little short pieces of something and twist it to make it sound and seem as if it's something else. I'll play the entire clip for you. No problems, no issues. Right? So, let's debunk this uh, today. <clears throat> now, the whole thing is, and you heard it there, uh... People on the left, everyone on the left, especially politicians, including Hakeem Jeffries, are now saying that Byron Donalds is, uh, uh, um, or Byron Donalds uh, said that black people were great under under Jim Crow or better off under Jim Crow, and you know uh, they're 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 trying to say that you know he 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 thinks that Jim Crow was good for black people, and that's not what he said at all. And I'm going to show you guys the clip of what he said. But first, I want to um, show you a couple other clips and then we'll get into the clip uh, in question, you know, where the actual statement. So I'm going to show you what Hakeem or yeah, Hakeem Jeffries had to say. And then I'll show you Byron Donald's response and then we'll get into the original clip. All right. Like, share, comment and hit that subscribe button if you are new. And let's dive in. Speaker has come to my attention that a so-called leader has made the factually inaccurate statement that black folks were better off during Jim Crow. That's an outlandish, outrageous, and out-of-pocket observation. We were not better off when a young boy named Emmett Till could be brutally murdered without consequence because of Jim Crow. We were not better off when black women could be sexually assaulted without consequence because of Jim Crow. We were not better off when people could be systematically lynched without consequence because of Jim Crow. We were not better off when children could be denied a high quality education without consequence because of Jim Crow. We were not better off when people could be denied the right to vote without consequence because of Jim Crow. How dare you make such an ignorant observation? You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. Corny. <laughs> Corny. Uh, here is Byron Donalds. <laughs> like that is just absolutely laughable. Come on, man. Come on. Oh, my goodness. And, of course, he tries to invoke emotions by bringing up Emmett Till and, and, and that whole situation. Oh, my goodness. These Democrats, man. These Democrats. 
Anyway, here's Byron Donald's response. America, Joe Biden's campaign is lying to you once again and they're gaslighting. Now they're trying to say that I said black people were doing better under Jim Crow. I never said that. They are lying. But why would you be surprised? Because they always lie. This is the same Joe Biden that said, if you don't vote for him, then you ain't black. The man is a liar. Sorry, just call it what it is. What I said was, is that you had more black families under Jim Crow. And it was the Democrat policies uh, under HEW, under the welfare state, that did help to destroy the black family. That's what I said. And I also said you're seeing a reinvigoration of black families today in America. And that is a good thing. So don't listen to the lies from the Biden administration. I know what I said, and I'll say it straight to camera. They got to run to the Philadelphia Inquirer to move their lies. Joe Biden does not care about black people. He never has. He cares about power. First, second, and third. They can go somewhere with all that. See ya. Yeah. Um, Byron Donalds was saying nothing like, was saying nothing even close to what Hakeem Jeffries said. You know, uh, but I'll let Byron Donalds speak for himself um, and I'll have an opinion. I'll say what I want to say and need to say afterwards. But here is the actual clip that they're, that they're pulling this off from. Check it out. I grew up with my mom. My dad and my mom, things didn't work out. As an adult, I look at my father and I say, bro, I don't know what happened, but you my father and I love you. Wow. I don't know what happened. I wasn't there. Wow. But I'm gonna tell you this. Coming growing up, the one thing I knew I wanted to do, and this is not about my father, this is about what I wanted to do is I wanted to be a father to myself. Wow. Right. And so one of the things that's actually happening in our culture, which you're now starting to see in our politics, is the, re in, the reinvigoration <laughs> of black families with younger black men and black women. And that is also helping to breed the revival of a black middle class in America. You see, during Jim Crow, during Jim Crow, the black family was together. During Jim Crow, more black people were not just conservative, because black people always have been conservative minded, but more black people voted conservatively. And then HEW, Lyndon Johnson, and then you go down that road, and now we are where we are. What's happened in America the last 10 years, and I say it because it's my contemporaries, it's Wesley's contemporaries. You're starting to see more black people be married in homes, raising kids. It's when you home with your wife raising your kids, and then you look at the world, you're saying, now wait a minute, time out. This does not look right. How can I get something to my kids? It goes back to the conversation of generational wealth. Not just having a job, generational wealth. I'm looking at my kids, how can my kids be on my shoulders when they take off in life? That's what's happening. Did that sound anything like what Hakeem Jeffrey said? He said during Jim Crow, more black families were together. And that is a fact. More black, pe more black families stuck together back then. That, that, that is a fact. That, that's a fact. More black kids grow up without both parents in the home now than they did then. That's just the fact he was he was speaking on a time period and what was happening during that time time period one of the things that was happening during that time period that's a fact so like so now it's bad to acknowledge the fact more black families were intact during this said time period oh well he's saying that you know jim crow was great he didn't say jim crow was great he said just during that time period, more black families stuck together. And that was great. The fact that black families stuck together was great. He didn't say Jim Crow was great. But of course, as Democrats always do, they, 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 they bend and twist words. And notice, I played the entire clip for you. I ain't played just like a little short snippet, right? A little, a little edited, you know, 10 second clip. That clip was two minutes long. Two minutes long. So whenever these Democrats come out here and say something, I, I, especially something as, as crazy as that, I, I automatically know it's bogus. 
and it's going to be another debunking mission once again, right? And uh, as far as I'm concerned, I consider this uh, this mission passed with flying colors um, a success uh, because you, you just heard it yourself. He said nothing like what Hakeem Jeffrey said. Absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. He stated a fact. And what's wrong with facts? You know? What, 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 what is wrong with that? Exactly. Uh, you know, just, you know, it, 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 it's just really shameful how these Democrats, man, try to bend and twist words and uh, 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 try to confuse people and lie. Bla just blatantly lie. You know, that's it. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly sick of it. I really am. I, I genuinely, like part of me is, is like, I'm, I'm, I'm like a, I'm like an 80, 20, right? 80% of me is like freedom of speech, rich freedom of speech. But then there's that like small 20% that's just like, we should ban that congressmen, especially congressmen, mainstream media as well. In my humble opinion, you know, legacy media, Fox, ABC, NBC, uh, uh, uh CNN, MSNBC, Right, all, all, all of them that are on, like, I call it the Fab Five, you know, the, the, the five tele, uh, or five uh, channels that you get if you don't have cable, you know, you just hook a, 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 an antenna up to it. I call it the Fab Five, right? Um, but mainstream media, including Fox, as I said, uh, and politicians should not be able to lie to the American people. That should be against the law. Like there's, there's, there's a small 20% of me that's like, make that against the law, you know? But then the 80% of course overrules that. It's like, Rich, freedom of speech. You got to take the bad with the good, you know? But it's so darn frustrating watching them do this time and time again. I mean, I guess it's more content for me, you know? But still, it's just like, just stop. Stop lying. Just tell the truth. Tell the truth. Like that that's not hard to do. I shouldn't have to do this. I shouldn't have to like get up here and debunk you. Like that that should not be a thing. You know, it's crazy, man. It's just crazy. But I guess that's where we are with, with Democrats, man. Unfortunately. Anyway, y'all let me know what you thought about this in the comment section below. Like, share, comment. Hit that subscribe button before you go. Peace and love. I'm out.